It was the question on the minds of many. What could prompt anyone to brutally kill Billy Payne Jr. and Billy Jean Hayworth inside their home while in the presence of their little baby? This is a house that is in a rural area, but it's still got some neighbors around it. It's a very small house. Bill Payne's body was laying on top of the bed. He was clothed in only his shorts that we presume he was sleeping in, and he had a gunshot wound to his face below his left eye. Billie Jean Hayworth's body was found in another bedroom with a single gunshot wound to the side of her head. And within her arms was her seven-month-old baby, Tyler, who was still alive. Marvin Potter Jr. and Jamie Lynn Kurd are charged with first-degree murder and both have ties to Janelle Potter. But it was her online relationship to the victims that started controversy. After you start being friends with her, she would be like starting on somebody, you know. to Sheriff Reese, when Payne and Hayworth blocked and removed her as a friend on Facebook, Janelle Potter didn't take it lightly. But it's the suspects who we're told have a history of standing up for Janelle Potter. Mr. Kurt is the cousin of Mr. Billy Payne, 
and there was apparently some tension there regarding who's taking whose side. Billy and Jamie wasn't talking because they were mad at each other for some ungodly reason. I know that they had been arguing, but I never dreamed it would go to somebody killing somebody. And her parents supported her as well, which is why investigators are now collecting the online conversations as evidence and are pointing to a computer as the source of a gruesome murder. Chris popped up in Janelle's emails. Chris would write to Barbara and report about his surveillance of the Bill Payne residence. to me this wasn't a real CIA person the language was crude and was very consistent with her writing in actuality based on grammatical tics and tendencies that's the same person Janelle was able to use this online fake identity to manipulate her mother Tennessee, just like a lot of states, we have a criminal responsibility for the conduct of another statute. In, in our state, it says if you direct, solicit, aid, or attempt to aid another person in the commission of an offense with the intent that it happened, then you're just as guilty. The judge presiding over this case called these murders the most bizarre, senseless murders he's ever seen. Janelle, you've got a 30-year-old woman catfishing her mother. Janelle was fictitious Chris, but Chris would write to Barbara. She was able to use this online fake identity to manipulate her mother. We wound up introducing 207 pages of emails, plus I don't know how many pages of Facebook documents. now we're still hurting and we'll always be hurting Billy didn't get to call me on Mother's Day it was hard Can we have justice that moment with the family is what you always dream of you see what they've lost and you hope that you can give them some moment of satisfaction they were good people you know, they were just living a normal life to be happy. They didn't have to make nothing up. They didn't have to lie about nothing. I miss everything about both of them. They were just a perfect couple. They were going to get married, and, and now they won't ever get the chance to be. She never got the chance to go out and buy a wedding dress. They took that from her. <laughs> <laughs> 